The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Thursday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN. Hope everyone had a great Wednesday holiday. We come back to the market, and we got positive prices. Yet again, you got the S&Ps right now up about 12 points, and we're just off the highs. You made a high at about 3.30 a.m. Eastern time, 55.88. We've backed off a bit. We're trading right now at 55.71. Still trading at 55.71. We almost hit 5,600. Pretty remarkable when you to put it in that context. NASDAQ 100 up another 68 points. That's about a third of percent. We were 100 points even higher at 20,371. The overnight high again, 3:30 a.m. Eastern time. Not that long ago, we were reaching for 20,000. We're at 20,263. Dow, slightly in the red, off by about 43 points right now. And you got the Russell, negative by six points right now. Bitcoin, trading higher, up by $1,500. That's 2.5% almost. You get Ethereum, up by $160 right now. Bitcoin at 66,000. Ethereum, 3587. You get the gold contract this morning, up by $5, trading at 35 excuse me not 35 that's ethereum 2351 you got silver up about 66 pennies a little bit of volatility there as well 3022 for the price of silver and we jump to notes and bonds here we go so we got a little bit of jobless claims data this morning nonetheless even in the last few minutes check it out we got lower price higher yield in the 10 year we're down by about 12 ticks right now in that 10 year excuse me and you're talking about a yield right now of 4.27% in the 10 year 4.27 we put this thing on a daily and you see quite a bounce we've had for higher price lower yield the lows back in april 25th we're now back to the 618 pretty remarkable you hit that on june 14th you got up to a 618 in the entire move that we've had and it's pretty remarkable one of the headlines i have up this this morning to go over is you're talking about bonds after having quite a start to the year this dotted line here we're almost erasing all of the losses for this year, which is remarkable. When you think we kicked off the year at almost 113 on the 10 year, you went down to 107.16 on that 10 year. And just like that, we've got back the 618 of that full retracement. You jump over to the dollar index this morning with a little bit of lower price and higher yield coming at you. We have a little bit of dollar strength back to 105.46. Right now with the dollar, we jump over to the volatility index. The VIX, 1256, very little volatility premium in this market as we go one way, straight up, for positive prices in this market across the board. Pretty remarkable. All right, where do we kick things off? Get off. Oh, that's the Treasury headline. Excuse me. What happened? last week. We the 8,000 a little bit hot compared to what the estimate was. The estimate was 235. Okay. Continuing claims up to 1.82 million. I remember continuing claims one more lift than the initial number. The four week average, 232,750. Number there. And so in the 20 years, we COVID 19. Weekly initial applications average 345 or 2.9. It's slow for so long. It's a much 35 seems like a little bit of a hot number. It was very hot last week, right? It was down five, it was a 243 number. It was a little bit dicey. In terms of negative action, we think it was you know, okay, it's a market weakness. That's going to give the Fed some room to be in the Historical average, we are a super healthy number, lack of a better super healthy number, in terms of where we are, where uh, 235,000 usually in the economy. Now, if this is indicative of a rising number, then yes, that would be okay. But even on a continuing claims for 1.82 million, you're taking up a bit. And again, that's a delayed point. 
a week greater than the initial lab number of June 18th, and she claims this as of June 15th. But historically, it's a much larger number. And you've got to take into consideration population, and that's a 20 year number. But usually, in the column, look at 35,000 initially. You're looking at uh, well, we're at about 235, and we're at 1.8. Pretty remarkable in the context. Okay, treasures are a whisker away from erasing this year's loss. Pretty remarkable. Pressure gauge was down as much as 3.4% for 2024. Markets have seen peak in U.S. government bond yields. That's what they're talking about. It makes sense as the Fed is on the verge of cutting. Uh, the age of return in the world's biggest bond market is not down to spring. For 2024, it's down as much as 3.4%. And it is interesting when you look at it. Right? Go back to the 10 year. I'll catch up. What's happening for me here? All right. What's going on there? Oh, come on. I have to check my producer. Let me know. Got me. All right. Yeah, I don't know from that data. That may be a little the break. Uh, no, what I was going to say when we covered the top of the program was that we treated from about 113 to 107. Right, we're back to 110. But you are getting an interest rate usually on some of those returns. So even though you have a little bit of capital depreciation, had on the yield a little bit. Uh, and the U.S. and London trading, U.S. markets reopening after the holiday, and then last time, the only one percent after being at some point five percent. And yeah, there's your number. Take a look at Trios, uh, Bloomberg Treasury Index, everything was all of 2024. Remarkably, we're all in the market at the end. But think about seven cuts, right? It's interesting when you come into the year. The yield of uh, five and a quarter, five point five percent. You see where this is at on twenty two eight. You turn around and twenty two hundred. We sit right now back at twenty two eight. You have a lot of room to make up some of those losses when you're dealing with a free, excuse me, risk free rate of interest of almost five percent. Pretty remarkable in that context, for sure. All right, how about bonds, man? Yeah, it's not happening. Sure. Oh, my sister, let me know. Uh, you send me out. What's going on, my computer? No, boy. Oh, boy. I'm having nothing going on. Not good. Yeah, I think I'm still connected. Uh, I'm assuming I'm connected. This was acting up on me, folks. I apologize for having a problem here. I may have to look at my connection on the break. Remember, it was five dollar foot long. I was having a conversation the other day where we were talking about six dollars, six inch bucks. That's a way. Quite a far cry from what they're talking about. Okay, so make it easy to come back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. Thanks for staying with us for that extended break. Had to do a little bit of a internet router restart, but we should be good to go. We're back in action. You get the tenure. As we mentioned, down negative 16 ticks right now. We got a 10-year yield of approaching 4.3%. So it was interesting going back to that conversation uh, on the yields for a brief moment. If you didn't catch that, I'm not sure if the charts were cooperating. But there's your Treasury Index for the year. As you get basically it all back, pretty remarkable. You're down 3.4%. If you were in the Treasury Index, that's the Bloomberg U.S. Treasury total return unhedged index in dollars, and you're almost even for the year. Pretty remarkable when you think about where we've been this year, how wrong we were, the market, that is, in terms of how many cut cuts might be coming at you. And just like that, we're basically back to flat as cuts seem like they may be on the horizon. At least one or two. What's going to happen next year? Now, back to Mickey D's. How about it, man? $5 value meals. You talk about it. June 25th, Mickey D's is going to kick off a marketing campaign for a new $5 meal deal, raising the stakes to lure back inflation-wary diners. Yeah, I'd say so, man. $5. What's it going to consist of, though, right? So last month, Bloomberg reported on this. Burger King's president also pledged to roll out a five dollar value meal before they do okay you got wendy's pushed out a three dollar breakfast offer on there what's remarkable is what i find myself saying is there's simply not enough profit to discount 30 percent for this model to be sustainable that's what, that's what i was wondering where is the profit going to be when you think about inflation prices etc you got burger king from left Wendy's, McDonald's, and Starbucks in there. Now, Starbucks, you get a small black coffee and a croissant. I mean, that's a little bit of bread and black coffee. Black coffee's water and some grounds. Grounds, you know, coffee's been expensive, I understand. But what's it going to consist of is the question there. For McDonald's, the promotion, which runs four weeks nationally and longer in markets like Dallas and Vegas, is not just about driving sales. So this is going to be a promotion. It's not going to be a constant deal here. It's geared towards dispelling the notion that Mickey D's has become too expensive after images of an $18 Big Mac combo meal in Connecticut went viral. $18, right? The company's prices have increased by an average of 40% since 2019. 40%. And that was supposed to be, you know, the affordable fast food 
$18 price tag is an anomaly found at just one of the company's 13,700 locations. Yes, but guess what? The 40% is not an anomaly, man. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. And you got growth rates here. Mickey D's falling behind. And McDonald's had been on, on quite a tear for a while. Look at this. I didn't even realize they went below that channel line. Watch out. So I have this channel line. Check this out. Check out this channel line, folks. So pay attention to this one. Boy, this would be decisive if you get a break. Hadn't realized that this had actually broken out. And this may be a, a telling sign, man. Is Mickey D's going to struggle to make any money because prices are so high that they're so expensive that they can no longer compete in that affordable category? Because this thing's been in a channel line going back all the way to 2015. This is a monthly chart, folks. You break out of there in COVID, but besides that, look how well this channel held intact. And just like that, you're down from 302 to 250 this year. Stay tuned, folks. We're coming back. We'll talk a little bit of Dell. We'll talk a little bit of Super Microcomputer. We'll talk some Tesla. We'll come back for the opening bell. Don't go away. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, 
Folks, we have markets open. You got the S&Ps trailing off on those overnight gains. We're actually only positive by single digits now. You gave up 20 points from that flash high, no, spike high, we'll call it a 330. You were a size 55.85 holding that gain. We're down to 55.68, still positive on the session. You get a NASDAQ 100, positive by a quarter percent. We've given up 130 points, though, from 20,371. We're trading at 20,245 right now. Dow just in the red by 60 points, just under that 40,000 mark, 39,000. 227 and you got the Russell right now negative by seven points jumping back to gold gold contract up about seven dollars right now interesting when you look at it we got dollar strength right now right gold up with the dollar not usually the case dollar trading at 105.46 we jump around to some of the currencies we do have a little bit of Fed action today not our Fed uh, what's that yen we'll type it in I guess usually it pops up Look at that, man. You talk about yen weakness. They got a problem. We are basically at highs. I mean, you got a spike high to 160, 177. And we're trading right now at 158.62 on the yen. Remarkable, man. Our man, Teddy Kegstad, he's done an outstanding job calling some of this action. We usually talk to him on Wednesdays. Market was closed on Wednesdays, so we're going to talk to him tomorrow morning at 940. We'll talk to Teddy. We'll talk a little bit of currency action, so tune in for that. Always a great interview as we talk some currencies. He's been on it on the end, man. Anybody else, you know, not anybody, but you could see saying, hey, you know, sell the heck out of this, and there was just not a lot of impetus, as in there's still risk here. Maybe you get up to 160, 161. Um, but we'll get his take tomorrow. But, boy, you talk about some weakness in the yen at 158.63 and that putting a little bit of strength in the dollar. Now, what else you have? You have the pound U.S. dollar. Yeah. And I wonder what time that move came out. Nonetheless, we have a little bit of weakness there down to 126.78. And you take a look at it. Bank of England. They hold off on rate cuts despite easing inflation. So the U.K. central bank signals it could join some of its peers in cutting rates, but not just yet. And they are right where we are, five and a quarter percent. And they're there for the seventh straight meeting uh, in line with what investors and economists had expected. Two of the nine members of its monetary, monetary policy committee voted to lower the key rate to 5%. Interesting, right? They don't have the unanimous deal going on like we, hear, we do here in the U.S. Everything's been unanimous, which is interesting in its own right. Bank of England, two of the nine said it's time to cut. Seven of the nine said we're going to keep it there right now. And nonetheless, uh, we march forward. The Bank of England has been wary of joining that group even though the UK's annual rate of inflation fell to its 2% target and that means joining the group of cuts and that was going to be the next article which is guess what you got uh, and they mention it here earlier Thursday Switzerland cut its key rate for the second straight meeting okay and check out where Switzerland is man one of my best friends you know lives in Switzerland he's talking about it today Swiss National Bank they're at one and a quarter percent one and a quarter percent is where they are. Pretty remarkable. So they cut it for the second time. They cut it from 1.5 to one and a quarter. And yeah, they're not dealing with what they're, we're dealing with, though. They see. So let's see. They see 2025 inflation at 1.1 percent. Right. Previously, it was at 1.2. Quite a far cry from where we are. They're looking down to 2027 at 1 percent for inflation. They're looking at. But here's the difference. Growth, 1%. We're way above that, okay? So that's the other side of that coin in terms of, yes, they have 1% inflation, but guess what? They only have 1% growth, and we're way over those numbers as well. All right, I mentioned that we were talking about Dell and Super Microcomputer, and you had Elon out there talking. I was listening to some of his talk. I found it. Where was he? Let's see. Uh, the Milker Institute's Global Conference at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. No, that's 2024. That's not where he was this weekend, though. Where was he this weekend? No, he just said it on X. Okay, because he was speaking somewhere. He's usually speaking somewhere. I saw some kind of speech that he was making in the last few days. But nonetheless, so he's out there. Dell is assembling half of the racks that are going into the supercomputer that XAI is building. Dell shares are positive. Super microcomputer, they are positive as well. As Elon revealed that the two hardware makers will provide servers to help his artificial intelligence startup XAI develop a supercomputer. 
it's so interesting he's out there talking up his private companies when he's got a public company to run but nonetheless i've talked about that extensively but there's dell and you talk about a stock on a run man check out this run from 35 dollars to 158 in just over a year Remarkable, and this year alone, you're trading a double banger now, from 73 up to 157, and then SMCI is super micro, and there is their run as well, and you're up 6.25 percent to 977 after the run to 1229 earlier in the year. You pull back a bit, quite a run indeed. We check out Tesla shares this morning. Whoop, T S L A. Going to be interesting to see how the pay package plays out for Elon. And Tesla pulls back a little bit, off 1.4% for Tesla. All the markets, ah, not all of them. Russell barely in the red right now, but we got markets in positive territory. Even though the S&P and the NASDAQ pull back a bit, we check in on NVIDIA shares. It doesn't stop, folks. Look at this thing, man. I mean, this is blowing this A to B, C to D projection out of the water now. Now, recall, I was talking about it. This A to B, the beginning of the year, the A point, you can put it on your charts, folks, to the penny. 47.32 is the A point. 97.40 is the B point. $50 and eight pennies is the run it had from A to B. You pull back basically to a 382. Okay, there's your 382 right there. That line was about 78.12. You spiked below it briefly, traded around there for a few days before you took off on the second leg. That A to B, C to D projection would bring you to 125.69. And we're now more than 10% above that number, man, to 138.92. Up another 2.5% for NVIDIA. You hit 140. There's your 15-minute. You hit 141 in the pre-market, man. It just does not stop for NVIDIA shares. Remarkable. Let's take a look at some of the other tech companies out there. Apple shares up about three-tenths percent. Microsoft, excuse me, were they up? No, Apple down, excuse me, three-tenths percent. Microsoft down about six-tenths percent. You jump over to Amazon shares. Amazon catches the left. There you go. What's going on with Amazon, huh? What do they do? I don't know what's going on there. We'll see, but they're catching quite a lift. Amazon catches a pop of the open up by 1.2%. You jump over to Google shares. Google up by a percent as well. Check it out, 178.37. Interesting, right? You got Microsoft negative, Apple negative, Google up by a percent, Amazon up by 1.3%, Tesla in the negative. A little bit of a divergence from some of these tech companies. You jump over to Netflix shares. They had been in that magnificent seven at one point. Flat on the session right now for Netflix shares. All right, let's check back in on those yields, see how we're doing. Yeah, kind of holding where we were. You're down about 16 ticks right now, 110.10 on that 10-year. And we jump around. And uh, when we come back from the breaks, folk, break, folks, we'll talk a little bit of Darden restaurants. As Darden, they did beat, but you're giving it back on the open. Darden, not with their numbers, beats on earnings, even as Olive Garden. Sales drag. Olive Garden dragging them down. They're the flagship. Uh, stay tuned, folks. We'll come back. We'll talk a little bit of Darden. We'll talk a little bit of Ruth's Chris. We'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer. 
the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. You got the markets holding on to the gains with the S&Ps up by 11. NASDAQ 100 up by 42. I'm sure that's fueled by NVIDIA, man. NVIDIA shares, let me put it back in, up by 3.7% now. That's a $5 pop. And remember, it's 10 for 1. That used to be a $50 pop on this equity, right? Remarkable, man. When you think about the move that this has when we just went 10 for 1, backing this up on a three-year weekly, I mean, we're up $5 right now in the equity. And meanwhile, October of 2022, you were trading at $10, right? The beginning of 2022, you were trading at $15. Now, we are a far cry from where we were then, okay? But they continue to be. We're now at three, I'm going to round up, $3.5 trillion company, NVIDIA is. At some point, we're getting a little lofty, folks, okay? Okay. I mean, you know, these types of runs, there is a lot of growth. Our man Kevin Hanks would always say it. At some point, I would always be a buyer of any equity, and at some point, I could be a seller of any equity, okay? We're now almost a double banger from where this thing was trading at on April 15th. Did you catch that? We're up almost a double banger from where this thing was trading at on April 15th. It's June 20th. The world was well well aware of what was going on with AI on April 15th. Yes, they've continued to surprise the market. We've had one earning since then. Be careful with chasing Nvidia at these pricey levels. You know, I'm not short in the newsletter. I'm not saying to go short this equity man on a longer term basis. They're at the forefront of a new revolution of AI. But boy, I mean, look at this thing on a weekly basis. Since that $75 price point, every single week you've crushed the market except for one when you had a red bar. But guess what? That red bar was still a positive week, right? You just happened to gap higher on the open and pull back a bit. I mean, look at these bars, man. June 3rd, you open at 113, you close at 120. June 10th, you open at 120, you close at 131. And we are, what? It's only three trading days. We got Monday, Tuesday, and we're... 14 minutes into this trading day and you open at 132 and we're trading at 140. I mean, it can't go on like that forever, folks. You see the pullback that we had here in even from March to April? That was quite a pullback, right? That was what? Almost a 25% decline on that equity on that pullback. 
So be careful chasing the video. It is on quite a run right now. I can't believe that you're just crushing that. I mean, you're up now 12, 13, 14% above where the A to B, C to D projection brought you. Absolutely remarkable. All right. So jumping back to Darden. Darden. Barely hanging on to the gains. But boy, things are a little dicey on Darden when you get into the numbers. There's your acceleration. You did beat. You open at 158, though, and you trade down to 152. And, yeah, let's get into some of the numbers here because Olive Garden was their flagship. It looks like Longhorn Steakhouse might be jumping into that top title. They beat on earnings, even as Olive Garden, and the fine dining sector that they have drags. Okay, now they have Ruth's Chris, which is adding to the net sales because they acquired Ruth's Chris, Ruth's Chris. But the company missed Wall Street's estimates for quarterly revenue. What I find more interesting is where they think things are going on a same-store sales basis. Okay, Olive Garden same-store sales fell 1.5%. Analysts were looking for basically a flat number. Okay, Last quarter, Olive Garden same-store sales fell 1.8%, driven by a pullback from low-income consumers. The fine dining restaurants, which include Capital Grill, and Eddie V's, two great restaurants, same store sales down one two point six in the quarter. Okay, that division now in includes Ruth's Chris, but those same store sales won't be included in the category for several more quarters. I think they got to get a whole year in there before they start including them. Is what they do. Looking to 2025, they're looking for earnings per share 940 to 960 in line with estimates. Okay, and. Yeah, here it is. Longhorn is overtaking Olive Garden as the gem that they hold. The only segment to report same-store sales growth, and that chain same-store sales rose 4% on the quarter. I don't know why that's happening. We have a Longhorn out here that I've been to. It's nice, but it's not that great, folks. It's not like that's going to save this company. If you got Olive Garden going down 1.6%, and the market thought it was going to be flat, 1.8 to 1.5, somewhere in there, right? And then you got the high-end restaurants going down 2.6%. And remember, this is over a period of inflation, okay? Same-store sales are shrinking 2.6% when inflation numbers are up 3.5% year over year. That's not a good recipe for growth across the board. And I think you're seeing it react on the equity this morning. Be careful on Darden as well. Um, people are pairing back how much they're going out, it seems, right? And look at the chop on this equity. You're up to 176. You double top out there. And sometimes, man, technical analysis is great. You don't have to give yourself a lot of room for some good trades, folks. And look at how you peg it. You had a high of 173.06 out there in July of 2023. And you make it within $4 of that price point, and boom, you turn around. We're trading at 153 right now. We put it on even a longer-term basis right there. Let's put it on a monthly and, yeah, we're on quite a run right now, okay? But be careful on this equity because you're talking about declining numbers at their flagship stores, and Longhorn Steakhouse is not going to save this equity if you've got Capital Grill, Eddie V's, Olive Garden, all declining on a same-store sales basis at a time when we still have inflation rising. Pretty remarkable. And look at We were trading at what? It, it was a one-way trip coming into COVID from 40 up to 120 Talk about a buying opportunity when everybody thought the world was going to end during COVID. And we're just right back to the top of that acceleration. Now, this was an area of resistance. Okay, it's an area of support right now. But be careful because you break through this area. You're going right back to these lows of 112, man, without a doubt. And look at the volume that we have down here, right? Look at that volume by bar we had in March of 2022. What would you do? 30.5 million at the low. What we had in some of these highs. Yeah, you had... Look at 27 million at the high, 26 million, 27 million. Look at that, right? 21 million. So you did get above it. You hit 21 million, but you gave it up. You had 21 million shares traded in July of 2023. And what did we do? We got back above it and gave it up at those highs. You made it to 176. We closed out that monthly at 167. Could not hold the highs. And then, boom. You accelerate lower in April. We come out with the numbers, and they're dicey numbers, folks. And that trade lower in April, in March was off their previous numbers as well. 
Let's jump around to some of the other retailers out there. Chipotle Mexican Grill, they've been on quite a tear, man. <laughs> Look at that equity. 34.13 for Chipotle. I don't know. I'm a fan of Chipotle, but I'm not a fan of the prices, as many have stated, right? Look at this run, man. Chipotle is on. Remarkable. 34.07 for Chipotle shares. We check back in on Mickey D's. Yeah. Put this one on your radar, man. Now, a note to our man Bud Rolfs. What do you want to see, folks? You want to see this thing come back up. You want to see it test that channel line, and that would be the short if it rejects it. So check out that channel line. Put it on a monthly and maybe that was the test right there. Even on a weekly basis, you got lower to 250. You came back up and tested it. We're trading lower. Stay tuned, folks. One more segment. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Take a look at the weekly. There's your weekly chart of the S&P, man, jumping away from where we were. We're trading at 55.75 right now. You're up by 15 points. Absolutely remarkable when you think. Even coming back to April 15th, we were trading at 5,000. This market up more than 10% right now from where you were just about two months ago, let alone the run you had trading from October 30th at 41.30. And boy, you want to talk about a run, man. Let's back this up even further. And you talk about the lows in October of 2022, only a year and a half ago. You're up 2,000 S&P points right now. And I was talking about it earlier last week, man. You take a look at the NASDAQ. You're almost up 100% from where we were at the beginning of 2023. 
folks. It's been a one-way trip. You've barely had to deal with some pullbacks here. I mean, I almost can't find an A to B, C to D. Maybe, okay, maybe you could find a pullback, but we didn't even get to a 3A2. I mean, look at that. You didn't even have to withstand a 3A2 on that run that you had from beginning of 23 up to the highs of July. You pulled back briefly to 14,000 before you took off yet again. And, yeah, that's basically an A to B, C to D. What do we have? We had a run from about 10,000 up to 16,000 on ballpark, and you were at 10,500. So it's about a 5,500-point run, and that takes you up to about 19,500 because that C point would be about 14,300. That would take you up about 19,800. So be careful. But just like NVIDIA, um, NASDAQ 100, just getting a little lofty as the A to B, C to D is well above where you were. And you see the run that we had even – this year didn't even make it back to a 382. We have not had a 382 pullback since we've doubled in price in the NASDAQ 100. Bonkers. Bonkers, for lack of a better term. So protect your capital, man. You got some big winners in there, and you're on a short term basis. Nothing wrong with putting some stops in place. All right, and we finish it up as we come into the break. Let's talk a little bit of poker, man. They got the World Series of Poker going on. This show is about money. And how about it, man? You talk about cash. They got a $100,000 poker tournament, folks, out in Vegas. They got a million tournaments that go on. So the big tournament that gets all the headlines is the $10,000 main event. But this one is cool as well. How about a $100,000 tournament? Yeah, they got 117 entries. They're down to the final six. And the winner playing out there today for $2.8 million. A bunch of tourneys going on. Pretty cool nonetheless. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned. Basil Chapman's up next. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great Thursday, everybody.